What happens to your body from a scientific point of view when you take heroin? Welcome to a brand new episode of our series, The Effects of Drugs. We believe it's important to understand what happens from a scientific perspective because, in our opinion, it can make drugs easier to stay away from. Let's start by saying that its real name, heroin's real name, the scientific one, is diacetylmorphine. Heroin, in fact, is actually just its commercial or brand name. Commercial in what sense, you might ask? You don't actually mean that it was freely sold, do you? Yes, I do. It might sound crazy, but up until the 1920s, Heroin, which in our times is sadly known for its devastating effects on society, could easily be bought at a pharmacy like any other regular painkiller. Its name comes from the German Eroisch, which means heroic. It was a pretty slick advertising gimmick for those times and one which probably helped its popularity spread. It was pulled from the shelves and banned just a few years later when people realized that besides getting rid of coughs and headaches, it also produced effects that were anything but good. Heroin is a semi-synthetic substance derived from morphine, which in turn is extracted from the opium poppy. It's the white milky substance that you can see here, and it comes from the pods of some specific poppy species. Heroin, as you know, comes in various forms, predominantly in powder. The most common types are, notably, white heroin and the darker, more impure kind, otherwise known as brown sugar, and it can be taken in various ways. But let's get down to what our video is really about. Once it's in your system, what happens to your body from a biochemical standpoint? Ladies and gentlemen, now it's over to Dana, our chemist. When you take heroin, the effect is pretty much instantaneous. After a few seconds, you will be overwhelmed by an intense feeling of pleasure. Once it gets into your bloodstream, the heroin easily reaches the brain, and that's where, by losing its acetyl groups, the ones you see here, it is transformed into morphine and its derivatives which produce super strong painkilling effects. You should know that your body naturally makes its own painkillers, which are called endogenous opioids. When we feel pain, they go and connect to the opioid receptors, cutting off the pain signal and thus acting as painkillers. Among the main ones, for example, are endorphins, which are produced by your body to give you some respite when the pain is too strong or unrelenting, like after an injury or during great physical exertion. Well, exogenous opioids, which are the ones we don't produce ourselves, like heroin, for example, work in exactly the same way. They latch onto the same opioid receptors in your body and thus produce the same pain relieving effects. The thing is, they don't just work on the pain receptors, but also on those that regulate the production of dopamine, the neurotransmitter of pleasure and satisfaction. After the first seconds of intense pleasure, the heroin user will experience a few minutes of euphoria, followed by an overwhelming sense of calm and relaxation, which will last for several hours, a state of peace achieved thanks to the anxiety-reducing properties of the drug. But it really needs to be said that all these intense feelings of pleasure, relaxation and overall well-being will exact an extremely high price. Heroin is extremely addictive, and this means that the user consistently wants more, they take doses more and more often and keep taking higher doses in an effort to experience the same high they felt the first few times they tried it. But that's impossible. Your brain very quickly gets used to the substance and finds it increasingly difficult to produce dopamine. And before you realize it, you get to the point where only heroin can give your body any pleasure at all. What's more, apart from being highly addictive, there are many physical effects associated with heroin use and these may be immediate as well as long term. One is meiosis, which is when your pupils constrict excessively. They can even shrink to a diameter of less than two millimeters. You might also get a dry mouth, nausea and severe itching, or experience a warm flushing of the skin and extreme drowsiness. The long-term effects though are absolutely devastating. Insomnia, collapsing veins and blood vessels, festering sores on your skin, and a variety of liver, heart and vein diseases. Plus, if you're taking it intravenously, so injecting it directly into the bloodstream with a syringe, this significantly increases your risk of contracting HIV if contaminated needles are used. On top of all these issues, you've also got the onset of serious psychological problems like anxiety, dysphoria, and depression. Let's not forget that heroin is also one of the most dangerous drugs in the world, simply because of how easy it is to take a fatal overdose. On average, a lethal dose is about 100 milligrams, while a regular dose ranges from 20 to 30 milligrams. You need to understand that we're talking about a tiny amount here, so messing up the dose and overdoing it is really easy, especially given the mental and physical conditions that a heroin addict finds themselves dealing with. 
But why is overdosing so dangerous? What makes it so dangerous is that this stuff causes severe respiratory depression and hypoxia, which means not enough oxygen can get to your body's tissues. And this can lead to complete respiratory failure, ending in death by suffocation. Moreover, the overpowering nature of heroin addiction can push users to do whatever it takes just to get their hands on a dose. Even the most law-abiding person might break the law to get their hands on the cash they need for their next fix. This happens because heroin withdrawal is probably one of the most insane and terrible situations that a person can find themselves in. What the heroin addict tries to avoid at all costs, in fact, is a withdrawal crisis, which is an absolutely horrendous experience, one that is full of pain and despair, and which also includes symptoms such as cold sweats, fever, limb pain, vomiting, cramps, shakes, as well as a profound feeling of abandonment and impending doom. To put it bluntly, these horrific withdrawal symptoms make the fleeting pleasure of the first hit simply not worth the risk. All right, as we saw with Dina, heroin is unquestionably an extremely dangerous substance. It's dangerous and deceptive. Why? Because for a few moments of pleasure, entire lives are placed in jeopardy. I don't feel like adding anything else. Any kind of moralizing would be superfluous in my book. Heroin is a scourge. It's really, really bad news for our bodies. So let's steer clear of it. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. See you for the next episode on the effects of drugs right here on Geopop Everyday Science. Bye.